Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will be studying the bone of the forearm known as the radius bone. Radius is a bone of the forearm. What is the forearm? The part which lies between the elbow joint and your wrist and it is the lateral bone of the forearm. Always remember that whenever the word radial is mentioned, it probably means it's lateral. Okay, so let's start talking about this bone with its side determination. So now we know that it is a lateral bone of the forearm. Now what side radius is this? So if we look at it, there is an upper end, a lower end and a shaft. However, how will you know what is the upper end, what is the lower end? So point number one in side determination is that the upper end is disc shaped, while the lower end is expanded with a prolongation on its lateral side called the styloid process. So you now you know that this is lateral and this is the upper end. Now you can hold it. However, the second point in side determination is how to know what is anterior and posterior. In the lower end, the anterior part will be thickened in a form of a prominent ridge, while posteriorly it will present as the surface will have grooves. This is point number two. Now let's talk about point number three in side determination. How will you know what is medial and lateral? Well, very easy. The most sharpest border of this bone, which the moment you pick it up, it's very visible and prominent, is the medial border of the bone. Hence, this is medial. You know that the styloid process is lateral and there's the medial border. And in the upper part of the medial border, the radius has its radial tuberosity. And finally, point number four is that on the lower and posterior surface, there will be a tubercle called the dorsal tubercle of Lister. So these are the four points of determination. Number one. Upper end is disc shaped, lower end is expanded with a styloid process. Number two is that the lower part of the anterior margin is prominent while posteriorly presents as grooves. Number three, the most prominent border is the medial border presenting as radial tuberosity in its upper part. And number four is the dorsal tubercle of Lister lying in the posterior part of the lower end. Let's talk about the bony features of the radius.